In today's video, we are painting. Hello, YouTube watchers and makers. This is your art buddy, V A S U B A S. First of all guys, I would like to say thank you to all my subscribers and all the new subscribers. You are awesome and each one of you is really important to me and I kid you not, once you hit that subscribe button, you are giving me the reason to keep going on and produce these videos. So without wasting any time, let's begin. All right, guys, we are using acrylic paint. I'm using phthalo blue, royal blue, yellow, white, fluorescent orange, and black. Brush sizes I will mention in the corner. Water to rinse my brush. We will start with the background first. I'm going to create a light blue color first. So guys, I'll take white as my base and add a little bit of royal blue to it. And then first thing first, what I would do three quarters or almost three quarters down. I'm gonna create a blue stroke, the blue I just made, and then apply blue from that line all the way on the top. Let your brush sip some water so your paint get fluid. I'm not gonna reapply the paint, you just apply the paint once and use the help of the water to extend the paint as far as you can. It's like very thin layer of paint. All right, after that, I'm gonna rinse off my brush in the water, wipe it on a, on a cloth or paper towel, take yellow and white at the same time on the brush, and then add all of that yellow and white. Add blue, darken it up from the top. I'll take orange, good amount of orange, and then apply that. Make sure that blue dries before you apply the orange. Just a couple of strokes. I'm just gonna take more yellow and somehow increase the volume of yellow in between. Just readjusting some tones, making it pop out more. All right, so after that, I'm gonna take royal blue and white. Again, a little bit more royal blue this time and paint a quarter of this canvas down with that color. And what I also am trying to achieve is the streakiness. This contrast of white and blue streaks. Oops, I got some yellow in there, but no biggie. It's all right, we might use some yellow later on. Now I'm gonna switch my brush to a mid-size brush, royal blue, and now I'll start with an abrupt blue stroke right on the edge. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit more blue. And then I'll take the big brush again, rinse it off and wipe it on, on the paper towel or a cloth and then sort of fade or feather that abrupt area. More blue it, in fact, and then go one more time. Then I'm gonna Mix white, blue, and yellow together. I'm gonna twist the brush flat, all right? And then apply the paint flat. I'm gonna take lots of white and add it to the turquoise. Same way, apply the paint. Then feather it. Then I'm gonna take phthalo blue on the tip of my big brush again. And very light pressure, I'm gonna add phthalo blue. Feeling the surface of the canvas with my brush. That light. I'll add some rocks with phthalo blue, just to have on top of a stroke, sort of come up with like a shape like you can imagine, like rocks laying next to the shore. Add one more here, I add a thick stroke first, and then dab some random patch. 
like just be creative in how I want my boulder to be, how I want my boulder to be. A big boulder here in the corner. I'll take royal blue, just royal blue, and then place my brush flat and then swirl it. Rotate my hand and drag along and drag towards the middle of the canvas. Start from the corner, go a little bit down, come up, go towards the middle, all the way to the right. See how I'm rotating? Don't, don't take off the contact of your brush on the canvas. Keep the contact and then rotate and drag along. Keep rotating your hand when you feel your paint is getting drier. Then I would sort of start moving towards the edge of my cloud and then make the cloud more fuzzier. In other words, blend that blue with the same rotating action on the edge. Add more blue on the empty spots. Then I'm going to add another cloud starting with a stroke, horizontal stroke. Then I'm going to start rotating my brush over the stroke. I'll start another cloud on the opposite direction. Same technique, start with the stroke. You can also dab over the stroke. One technique is rotating your brush like this and one technique is simply dabbing. When your cloud is now getting smaller. Now the far distant clouds will be more elongated, more wider. I'm just dabbing horizontally now. Very little, little dabby horizontal spots to portray very distant, far, far away clouds. Now I'm gonna take phthalo blue guys and then start blending phthalo blue with dabs from the top on my big cloud. getting some dark tones now. Now I'm gonna add some phthalo blue in the smaller dudes, in the smaller guys. Like right in the middle. Just add a little bit of Taylor blue and white right below the clouds coming from the left hand, coming from the left right above the sea horizon line. Medium brush, little bit of royal blue. I'm just gonna add a few horizontal strokes. Again, depicting some cloud formation. A very faint pressure, guys, very faint pressure. Same medium brush, I'm just relayering some orange in the far right area. All right guys, so I'm gonna use now big brush and some black and then slide some black on the rocks. Just giving it a little darkness, different directions, but on an angle. The black with very faint pressure, as you can see, being very gentle about. Sometimes I'm moving my hand horizontally, sometimes sliding it on an angle. Blue, white, and a little bit of yellow. Again, light, light version of the turquoise and with 
my brush being flat. It's a very light, a lot of white in it and that blue and yellow is just bare minimum hint. few horizontal strokes for a little movement in the water. Oops. What? So we are going back and forth with adding detailed coats, various shades of blue to translate the best we can the interpretation of the ocean. All right, guys, now final detail. My favorite part of the painting. I'm gonna add a curvy stroke, like a prominent one. All right, I'm using small brush, guys, black. I'm gonna bring strokes from the tip of the angular stroke. And then make these vertical strokes all along the curvy strokes. And you can have them angled on the strokes above, these little tiny strokes that I'm talking about. Now, when I'm pulling the strokes from the main stem, make sure it's going towards the ground because of the gravity. And I'm gonna switch to medium brush again, white, phthalo blue, and then very faint pressure, I'm gonna do these strokes, little tiny strokes on the on the tree itself, coconut tree. A little bit of white, very faint pressure. I'm adding a little cherry on top Ooh. with white. All right guys, this is the final result. Hope you guys had a good time watching this painting being manifested. Thank you so much again for tapping on this video and giving me the opportunity to share this experience with you all. Until next video, guys, have a good one. Sayonara and ciao.